Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to our first episode. This is Tap to Tap to Tap. Tap, tap in. in. All right, so today we're going to start it off. Come on, join us. Let's go. We are back. On today's topic, we're going to discuss something that, you know, like, I think we all going to go through in life, right? Everybody's going to go through it in life, right? Mm-hmm, uh, is that dating thing, right? Uh, yeah. But before we get into that, let us introduce ourselves a little bit to the public, right? Because they need to know who we are. Okay. Um, so, my name is Faith Up Sam. I'm your boy. I'm mean, your humble host. You know what I'm saying? This is your humble host, JD. That's right. That's right. So humble. <laughs> hey, konnichiwa. Hello. Bonjour. Bonsoir. My name is Marjorie, also known as Big M, not the little, little one. one. Not the little Hi, one. Hi, everybody. And my name is Ivania, a.k.a. EV. So you guys ready? That's we it. Ready. Like, yeah, I, I know y'all are ready for something else, but that's it. <laughs> that's yeah. it. That's all you got, EV. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, so um, I'm happy that you guys are here. Right. Um, this is the first episode. How do you yeah. guys feel about that? Feel nervous, good about it. Excited. Very much excited. Why are you nervous? I don't know. I'm shy. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> it's a lot of information. I'm. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to. You ready? know, to talk to the crowd. I'm ready to talk about everything because we're mm-hmm. gonna talk about a lot. A lot, man. And this has been in the works for a minute, and I'm glad we're able to to you know get it jumping right now, man. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. So a little bit about our name, like I'll give you a little background, right? Yeah. So when we got together and we were uh, thinking about, you know, what should we name the podcast? Uh, and my boy here came up with the name Tap In, the Audible Podcast, bro. Like, what, what were you thinking? Like, what, what made you choose that name? Uh, I was thinking about um, life changes that happens, right? Um, most importantly, how we have plans. And then Christ always uh, kind of like just laugh at our plans. And we have the Audible, right? gotta change it so it's like it's like a football right in a game you have where you know the quarterback sees what's gonna happen and the quarterback of our lives is is christ come on sir right? so when he sees what's yeah. gonna happen yeah. and then what he does is just hey you know what let's change that so that's what I, that's what's coming to my mind and then i figure all right let's call this audible let's go that's what we do so as you just heard everything's gonna be faith-based man yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. are christian you know and uh, we are proud of, you know, our Christianity. We wear our cross, yep. you know, wherever we go, and we Most represent, definitely. you know, Christ to the fullest. Mm-hmm. So all our topics is going to be based on our spirituality, um, but we're not going to exclude every, anybody, right? Definitely. So everybody's going to feel included. Mm-hmm. Well, I should, I should say that lightly, especially nowadays, right? Well, mm-hmm. listen, I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. We gonna keep it real. We gonna keep, we gonna it, keep real, it real for we sure. We gonna tap into. We gonna tap into everything. Yeah, as I said earlier, yeah. uh, the topic for the day is dating. So, um, so like, tell me, what do you guys think about like dating? Mm. Ladies, go first. You know, of course, my gentleman like that. Oh, okay, I see. Well, for me, when I think about dating, I see, I'll say like you're getting to know somebody. You're talking to somebody, you're getting to know somebody to see if the person have a potential to go further. Mm. I'm going to stop a little bit from that. Yeah, okay. piggyback on what Evie said. Thank you. To me, dating is just basically getting to know somebody. Okay. You're not in a, you're not in anything committed mm. as of mm. yet. Mm. Just getting to know them. So when you said not committed, are we talking like we seeing... Paul, John, Jack, Mike, Jack, if want, Matthew. You know, if you want, oh, if you want, because I'm not in a committed relationship. As oh, wow. yet. I'm getting to know. It's okay for me to get to know wow. more than one person. One person at a time. Mm. If it's not too much. If it's not too much. If I can handle the weight. Uh, who determines that? Well, I was not thinking that myself. <laughs> You're not. I, I I thought dating was just like with one person. You really? Oh, you thought that? Yes, I thought it was just one person that like you get to know one person. Because imagine you're talking at seven, you were talking to John, then you say bye, you're going to sleep, then at eight, you have to talk to James to make sure you explain. So I thought it's just mm. one person. I don't think you have to explain yourself, oh, I got to talk to John. You don't got to do all that because you're not in a committed relationship. Ooh, so dating, boy. you're not committed. I don't know. <clears throat> so are you telling me like you are, you are mentally prepared to take on seven personalities? Well, it's not going to be seven. That's a bit stretched. Just five, huh? <laughs> 
Six. Just five. Six. <laughs> and a half. Who's a half? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I mean, that that's... I mean, I'm not going to disagree with you because a lot of people view dating as that, right? Mm. Where you, you taste, you know, the water from everywhere and that see what works for you, mm-hmm. right? I think a lot of people define dating as that. Um, now, since, you know, I, I, can we define, like, what is the right age to date? Mm. Is there even an age to date? I don't no. believe Is there? Either. Is there? I say high school, like, in age. 16, 17. 16, 17. That's good. Hey, you agree with that? I would say 15. Oh, you you went down to 15? I mean, if, you know, speaking reality, 15. Because they start dating really soon. And reality. Are we talking the hidden dating or the public, your parents know dating? Parents know. <laughs> that's a good question. I think that's based on culture, right? Like <laughs> certain cultures, say. like parents like let their kids date like at a young age. Some of them are married by fifteen. Correct. Wow. So I think it's based on culture. Mm. So like if we talking about if we go back to the Bible, right, and we think about the story of Mary and Joseph, right? I, I believe that they got married young, mm. right? I, I would say I'll put them between the age of especially Mary, between the age of 12 and 13, Ooh. right? Maybe Joseph was a bit older, maybe 15, 16, mm. right? That's Stretch, okay. 17, yeah, right? Um, so if they were allowed to even, you know, be proposed to at that time, right? Because it was parents that used to, you know, um, arrange marriage you know, for their kids, so if that happened at that time, like what changed nowadays that, you know, we don't trust, you know, kids 12, 13 to, I'm not even going to go into marriage, right? Mm-hmm. To, date. to date. They're not mature enough. The fact that what, 12 and 13, well, you're still in middle school, mm-hmm. I think, yeah. right? Uh, if, 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 if you did what you had to do in elementary, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you used to be in middle right. school. Imagine somebody 12 dating. Yeah. At this point, it's just kisses. Oh, I miss you. I miss you, too. Is it, though? Hey, can't wait to see you in school. At 12, it better be. You, you, you talking about in today's day yeah. and age? I feel like it all depends. I feel like they're advanced nowadays. They, yeah, I feel yeah. like it's more advanced. But at the same time, I don't want to talk about nobody's kids, but um, I just feel like it goes down deep at that age, honestly. Yeah, I think they're more advanced nowadays. I mean, but, you know, like, after hearing what Marjorie said about if you're dating, you have to talk about with five to seven people. I wouldn't trust, if I had a kid, I, I wouldn't trust my kid to start dating at 12, knowing that you're going to be talking to five different person. So, to me, because if, like, if you were talking to one person, then I'd be like, okay, yes, you can, because now you have your focus on one guy or what, your focus on one girl. So, now you're getting to know that one person. When you're getting to know five different personalities, it's different. You don't know what the person going to you don't know what gems have. You don't know what the person gonna talk about. You don't know how the person gonna treat you. So no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't allow that. You wouldn't advise well, it. No. Mm. Okay. So what do you think changed between the time that you know people were you know getting uh, um, how would I say it? Uh, how you say that again? You know, like because they were, they were promised to marriage, right? Oh. So yeah. what changed from that time to now? Freedom. Uh, I mean, think about it. Imagine, you know, somebody putting us, right, our parents putting us with someone that we, we don't even know, right, someone that we have to learn to love as we're getting to know them. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, it's to, it, to me, in my mind, that's, that's a bit of a slavery of love. Yeah, Think about it. Yikes. Yeah, I'm going that far. Because <laughs> you have to learn this person while trying to, Get to know them and st- and still love them. Yeah, that's tough, man. I think I think I think the freedom happened. And honestly. I don't think this day and age. I don't think kids these days. We're not going for it. You're not. We not like we. So too... is it because of what we are exposed to? Because this, yes. this is what I think. I, I think media. society. I was gonna say technology. Okay, okay. Media, technology. I was waiting on we, y'all to we, get on t- into that. Our eyes are open, much more open than in the past. I feel like in the past, they were pro- like programmed to get married. Okay, my parents are going to do this, so I know at 12, I need to learn how to cook. I need to do this because I'm going to get married to somebody. So they were already prepared for that. 
Now, you know, now we have the mentality, I want to do whatever I want to do. I don't want my parents to choose for me. Because if I'm going to be in a house with a stranger, let me at least get to know the person myself, not you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's, it will be different. In technology, now there's movies. I'm pretty much sure back then there was no movies, but bedtime stories. And it was yeah. about Jesus. Yeah. Now we have different movies, and we see different things. So everything changed. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, social media telling you how to love. And, yeah, we, we like I said, we're just open to way more. I just think it's freedom. That's all. Freedom. So, like, it's safe to say that a 12-year-old can date, right, because of what they've been exposed to. It's not safe to say. Why not? I, I wouldn't allow it. At 12, you got I'm not telling. I'm not asking like what you would allow, but I'm asking like, okay, so I'll give you guys this little, you know, this little thing right here, right? There was a research that shows that, in general, uh, you know, girls start dating at 12, like we're talking about right now, and boys start dating around 13 years old, hmm. right? So if dating is what you guys define it as, what does that have to do with a 12 and a 13 year old? Right, because we do have twelve year olds and thirteen year olds who are getting pregnant. That's true. You, you see what I mean? <clears throat> so when do we put a limit into what age you know a child is supposed to date? I don't think there's a limit. All right. So I mean, obviously, you know, if you're a parent, right, you you won't feel comfortable at twelve, thirteen, right? But obviously, you, you can't stop it, right? Because it's That's gonna true. happen behind your back. The only thing that you would hope is that that your child knows exactly the do's and the don'ts. That's pretty much it, right? Because that's really what, at that age, that's really what dating could be, right? The do's and the don'ts. Because you, I think that you're gonna have a lot of challenges and most of them are gonna be bad versus the good. And especially if you meet someone that don't have the morals that their parents, you know, should should have given them. So now, like your child gets sucked in. If you have a daughter or or a son, he or she gets get gets sucked in into that bad mode. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really about you know how how mature your child is because again you you're not gonna know if your child's dating or not. You can, but you can't stop it True. unless unless you homeschool them, which is not gonna happen. They could right. date online. <laughs> still, they don't you're lie. right. They don't they still, lie. Technology. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> I just think it's a bad idea, man, for a 12-year-old and a 13-year-old to, to be dating, man, because life is too dangerous, especially now, you know? Uh, so, like, for me, I would put an age gap into dating, right? Like, I have kids, and I have to think about those things, right? So there's an age gap to where I think, like, going back to what you said earlier, uh, dating has a lot to do with maturity, right? Can a 12-year-old be, be mature? Yeah. Sure, mm -hmm. they they can. How many twelve year olds are mature? Not not a lot, right? <clears throat> so I have to put an age gap to it. I say like uh, as far as maturity, like you know, women mature, you know, faster True. than than you True. know little boys do. Yeah, hear that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. so I'm okay with with my daughter dating a little younger, right? When I say younger, I'm talking about younger than eighteen. Okay. Um, well, so like seventeen. Well, I'll take, I'll put 16, right? I'll put, 16. I'll even go, f I'll stretch. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop at, at 15. I think I'm comfortable with that number. You know what I mean? We're going to stop right there, right? And I know somebody will say, oh, you know, like, uh, uh, it's not fair, you know, that you would allow a boy to do certain things that you wouldn't allow a girl to do. And I say this, like, uh. I hold my son to the same standard. Reason being because, the person that he's going to be dating is somebody else's daughter. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So, yep, yep. like, I have to balance it like that. If not, then you screw somebody else's daughter's life, yep. mm -hmm. right? But allowing your, 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 your doggone son, you know, to, to date this person, and then he's not mature, and he doesn't know what dating is, right? And they start exper experimenting and, and, and stuff like that, and next thing you know, they're living an adult life, in a little baby, in a, a body. Mm -hmm. Too early. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's very important to put a limit, a, 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 a like number, an a, a a age, age, yeah, into dating. 15 to 16 is not really that bad. Because think about it. 15 to 16, you're in high school, and a lot of people do marry their high school sweetheart. 
Correct, correct. That's true. So correct. 15 and 6 and 13, 12, 14? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That ain't happening. Some people still pee in bed at 12. That's, that's <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that's true. That's true. No, no that's true. way you try to date somebody. You well, dang. I, well, 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 I mean, if, if he or she pees in bed, how would you know? I mean, he ain't going to come to school like that. <laughs> so, you have a good point. <laughs> that is, that is. I mean, like, that's me. I, I could close this topic right here. Like, kids should not be dating. Like, period. Like, little Does he kids. he be in bed, though? Yo, <laughs> nah, like, like, bruh, go play with your pay- Play-Dohs or something, you know? Like, Legos, something. Whatever. Legos.